Hello apples and cherries and welcome back for another week of maths lessons. Now this week we're going to be looking at something new and it's called estimation. Can you have a go at saying that? Estimation. Now estimation sounds like a really tricky word but it's actually another word for guessing. So we can use estimation to help us guess an amount of something before we count it. Now our learning objective this week is to be able to show our understanding of estimation. So that's through our different activities that we'll be doing. Now our success criteria is that we can explain what estimation means. I wonder if you can remember already. And we can use estimation to work out different problems. We'll even be able to explain your reasoning when talking about estimation. So similar to last week using our oracy skills. Now the most important rule about estimation is that we can't count it straight away because that would be cheating. Now I know that's a bit tricky to do because we're so used to just going one, two and counting how many items there are. But remember we've got to guess first. So looking at my Lego here, I'm going to have a quick guess at how many bricks I think there are. Now looking at the two groups, I think there's definitely more than five. Now, do I think there's more than 10? No, I don't think there's any more than 10. So I've got to pick a number between 5 and 10. So I could pick 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10. Now, I'm going to guess and I think there's 9 because I think it's going to be quite close to 10. OK, so my guess is 9. Now I'm going to quickly count and check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. So my estimation was very good. I guess there were 9 and there was actually 10. Now let's try this one together. So we've got our smiley faces. Now remember we can use different things to help us estimate. So first of all, do we think there's less than 5? No, okay. So we think there's more than 5? Yes, I think there's more than five. Do we think there's less than 10 or more than 10? So do you think it's going to be a smaller than number than 10 or a bigger number than 10? Okay, think of a number then, have a quick guess, say your number out loud. Okay, I'm gonna go with 10. I'm going to go in the middle because I'm not sure if there's less and I'm not sure if there's more. So I'm going to guess 10. Now let's count together. Are you ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, now you're going to try this one on your own. So remember, don't count them, that would be cheating. Have a quick guess. Is there less than 5, more than 5, less than 10, more than 10? And say your number out loud. OK, right, let's count and see how close you were with your estimate then. We have 1, 2, 3, Four. So our actual amount was four. What was your estimate? What did you guess? Well done, you were close. Now try the treasure chest. Remember, is there less than five, more than five, less than ten, more than ten? And pick a number and say it out loud. Remember, don't count. We're not counting, we're guessing first. We'll count afterwards. Right, have you said your number? Right, let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that time. Was your estimate close? Well done. Right, your task today then is to go around your home and find some different objects. It might be your teddy bears, it might be your Lego, or it might even to be going outside into the garden and looking at the flowers. And I want you to, if you can, take a handful or just have a quick look and estimate, so guess, how many of those objects there are. So I might go into the garden and have a look at a patch of my garden and guess how many flowers I can see. Okay, and then I'm going to count them 
to see if my estimate was close. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you again tomorrow.